Good evening. People in Turner County are offering their support for the families affected by a crash that killed two teenagers and injured another a little over a week ago. The two-vehicle crash claimed the lives of 19-year-old Brady Patterson and 17-year-old Kelly Fox and seriously injured 17-year-old Austin Jensen. Tonight, people pitched in for the families affected by this crash. Kelloland's Nathan Finster spoke with organizers who say it's going to take the community some time to heal. Two towns, one community. And that's what organizers say is the message of the Fox Patters and Jensen spaghetti feed. What these people need right now, what these families need, is they, they need support, obviously, but they also need, they've got a lot of bills coming in, whether it's funeral costs or hospital bills. And so what can a community do? You know, you come together and, and you support them as best you can. Organizers say they were surprised at how big the event grew. The more we planned, um, the more things just started to happen. Um, you know, it started out with the spaghetti feed, and then, you know, it went to a silent auction. We were so overwhelmed with donations that we decided to make it a silent auction and a raffle. We are pushing 500 donations. Kirsten Pato and Logan Hansen were close friends of Brady Patterson. They say the event has lifted their spirits. It's been a really sad week, but right now I can actually smile, and we're raising money for three amazing families. Yeah, and today's just kind of been a really good day to let the communities come back together and just to reunite after this really horrible like, week. While Richards is impressed with the support the feed has gotten, he says the communities should continue to support the families after the event is over. But communities also need to realize that, you know, we need to stick with these people. As soon as the event's over, it doesn't mean their, their pain and their sorrow and their suffering is over. In Viberg, Nathan Finster, Kelloland News. Richard says the spaghetti feed raised almost $30,000. He says they set up a Fox Peterson Jensen benefit account at the Merchant State Bank, which will go to all three families equally. There's also a GoFundMe page set up for the families of the two teenagers killed. We have a link to that under this story on Kelloland.com.